we need political statesmanship and leadership, and yet the Afghan leaders were not even able to provide rations and bullets to their frontline troops at their moment of reckoning. It's just not that easy. You, you, can't, you can't tell a man to learn how to swim as you as he's drowning and you remove the life raft from him. I'm Britt Conway, reporting. Rescue workers are searching for survivors from Saturday's powerful earthquake in Haiti. The death toll is now more than 1,000, and hundreds of people are still missing. The epicenter of the 7.2 magnitude quake was less than 100 miles west of the capital of Port-au-Prince. It is 517, 65 degrees. If this is the first time you've been up with us in a while because you're getting ready for school, Get that coffee, we understand, and we are here for you. Right, Austin? Oh, absolutely. And I remember my first morning of high school, that was the first time I had to get up at like 5.30 for school, because back in Georgia, we started at like 7 in the morning, and that was a hard morning to, to get up. So get the coffee going, and let's go ahead and wake on up this morning. Temperatures feel good as you step outside the door. We're in the low to mid-60s, 65 here in Dayton, 65 Xenia. A little cooler in Springfield at 63, and then 62 degrees up towards Salina. But those Comfortable temperatures do come with a little bit of rainfall this morning. So, Line Doppler 7 radar is showing that. We have had widespread light rain this morning, but it is beginning to thin out a little bit. Some of the areas that are still hanging on to that rainfall as we go out towards Green and Clark Counties, Urbana, Springfield, still dealing with some of that light rain this morning. And then as we go up towards Wapakoneta, light rain, some embedded heavier pockets as well. But again, this widespread activity is on the way out of the Miami Valley this morning. Once we get towards the afternoon, we'll see the redevelopment of some isolated showers and also some isolated locally heavy downpours. Here's the view from downtown Dayton. Visibility is good despite having some rain out there, so we're not finding any fog issues this morning. And hopefully the rain that is out there isn't enough to really slow you down on your morning commute. Now the forecast over the next few days is going to get kind of repetitive. We have just a very soupy, muggy atmosphere, and once you add that daytime heating to it, we're going to get those shower and thunderstorms chances each and every day. So as we head into the afternoon, a 40% chance of showers and embedded locally heavy downpours. A little bit better chance for rain comes into here for Tuesday, and that sticks with us right on through Thursday of this week. So I'll show you what that looks like on future cast this morning. That widespread light rainfall is starting to clear off towards the north, and through a good chunk of the morning, we'll have some dry times in the Miami Valley. But as we head towards the afternoon hours, again, you add that daytime heating, and you see the redevelopment of showers, a few isolated thunderstorms, and also some locally heavy downpours. And notice the motion with the rain that does develop both today and Tuesday. It's going to be kind of slow moving out there. So as these pop-up showers develop, we'll just have to wait for them to rain themselves out. Now with the clouds and showers around today, temperatures are going to be running a good bit below the average. We're forecasting a high of 77 degrees. So a good bit below the average high of 85. Even with some mugginess around, the temperatures should still feel okay over the next few days. Your bus stop outlook over the next three days, keep in mind showers are going to be possible mainly during the afternoon but also during the morning so a good idea to keep the umbrella handy with the kids as they head out to school over the next few days and of course Kirsty Santini will have another look at that forecast coming up in just a few minutes. If you want to grill out after school today uh, you're going to have to dodge a couple showers out there. I do think we'll have some dry times though so hopefully you can fire that up this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures still feeling good this evening dry, uh, gradually cooling off through the 70s. For now here's our five day forecast. Again, a chance for a few showers today and embedded within some of those light showers later on this afternoon could be some of those heavy downpours. Better chance for thunderstorms as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday. Jake Magnata in for Sergeant Mark Bauer this morning as he's continuing to track the traffic and Jake, has the rain played any role in the morning commute quite yet? Austin, so far, really hasn't been too much of a factor this Monday morning. Really haven't seen any accidents or delays on our freeway system or our main roadways. You may just see the roads a little wet this morning. But right now, we're looking at that commute southbound on 75 from the area of Needmore Road to Route 35. That's through the downtown Dayton area. Right now, pretty light volume, but it's only taken about six minutes for that five-mile drive. And also, if you're heading out this morning, you may notice an increase in traffic. A couple area school districts are starting back up. That's in the Trotwood and Miamisburg School District. I'm Jake Magnata, WHIO Team Traffic. And we have Team 7 back to school coverage for you this morning. It is 521, 65 degrees. This week starts National Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Week. What is being done to reduce the number of deadly crashes?